Um, anyways, it's time for your awesome thing of the week. And Chilla, I know that you 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 warned us that you were going to experiment with this. Uh, so how how did CarPlay 13 um, work out for you? CarPlay in iOS 13 is pretty awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, so you you're a avid traveler constant car I am. rental person I, well you for for like four months out of the year yeah. yes in enjoying the car play from site place to place mm-hmm. um so you're used to kind of like the what makes me think of like the old school single app ios menu yeah. launch music player so now like there's like a home screen i see this I, i'm seeing this on the article that you put in here from nine to five Mac. yeah so when you when you kind of go into the main car, you know how on the dash you usually get enter car play and it just takes you to like the iOS style menu with all the apps laid out. Mm-hmm. The home screen is now half the screen. The left half screen is the map of where you're at, mm-hmm. regardless of if you've started like directions somewhere, which I thought was really cool. Mm-hmm. Um, I like it because I'm I was on roads over the weekend that I wasn't familiar with and they had the speed limits on there um, right on the maps dashboard, which I thought was cool. And then off to the right, it can break it up into a handful of different kind of breakouts. Um, by default, it's the locations that it thinks you may want directions to mm-hmm. on the top and on the bottom is the music player. Um, so basic music controls, you know, fast forward which is nice because other than other than your like on steering wheel controls like you had to switch the app to go pause the podcast or anything like that Mm -hmm. i don't think it was readily available there on on the screen until you Mm -hmm. actually did switch the app now now uh, now carplay is always nice about the last three things are on the side side. and those are still there and those are still there well one thing i did like was it, it was also smart so like let's say i was like kind of well, I went to Google. I like because I always use Google Maps to find places, and then Google I use Maps it. doesn't auto rotate and it drives me no no no. Ball. But I hate using it for GPS. <laughs> but I like it to find like hey, where's the nearest Walmart? Okay. Hey, where's the na- nearest coffee shop? Um, Waze isn't good at that, and and I just would rather use. I feel like Google has more information than Apple Maps, right? Mm-hmm. Um, or I don't want to use Apple Maps because it keeps interrupting my podcast because <laughs> I don't have all the sounds turned off on and everything. So, um, but it's smart that like, so if I'm switching between them, it'll have the last three, but it won't have like two map apps. Like it's smart to say, oh, you're using this one. I'm not going to put this in the recent. So it's always going to be most likely like the message app, a map and whatever music player I'm doing, whether it be podcasts or um, uh, uh, Google music typically, which does have a native app on there now. It did not a year before. Mm Mm-hmm. So that's been nice to see that growing out too. But the, the cool thing too is, and I've noticed on the, that right hand side is dynamic. Okay. And it's of course trying to figure out what it thinks you care about. Mm-hmm. But like when I get close to my house, it will like bring up some of my home kit, like turn on the lights Ooh. type stuff. Um, it'll bring up like in the morning, I've seen it like show my calendar over there. Like it thinks, oh, you may want to see what's up for the day. Um, so the right hand panel is dynamic and it tries to kind of be AI like, like series, the series suggestions. I don't know if you use that. Um, I use it quite often because I have so many apps on my phone. I just swipe down mm-hmm. and nine times out of 10 Siri knows what, what I want to do. Um, but it, it works out really well. The, the, instead of having a picture of like your typical old school home button in the lower left, it now has kind of like an app grid so if you see those that four actually four by two set of blocks that takes you into the old school home screen and car play so i've been pretty impressed with it for like the couple times i've gotten to use it over the last week um completely useful 